hey guys welcome to this video in this today's video we are going to see how can you implement multiple images preview so if i go up right here and pick up any images let's say i choose one at a time or i choose multiple images at a time you know let's try to open this so it really opens pretty much well and if you really want to know without wasting your time let's get into the vs code as you can see i have made just a basic create react app i have removed all the boilerplate code and what i've done is really imported all the styles and really just gone up right here i have used some google fonts and this is just pre-made boilerplate that i've designed uh why i have done this because we are kind of focusing on to make the logic rather than to design the app and i don't want you to really bored with this css style but if you really want you can just check that CSS styling the link that is given in the description about GitHub repo as well as the code sandbox IO that will give you the exact demo of what we are doing right now. So let's go over here and again one thing that I forgot to mention is that we are using this uh, fonts library of Google fonts and as well as what we are using is we are using material fonts I guess yeah we are using material fonts and this uh as this link as an shortcut icon that is fav icon i will just show you right here so you can see here is what we are using this fav icon by using this link and coming right here let's type out the logic let's say as class name is equal to app okay okay here is giving a dark texture because we are kind of going with dark mode and then what we need is as a class name of heading I'm using emit that's why it's giving me an autocomplete and what we need is as react multiple images preview okay yeah so now what we need is as an let's say again an empty div for separating uh, and let's say as an input of file and then what we need is as an uh, id of file and then what we need is as class of label holder and then what we need is as a class so label of label okay then what we need is as in file and within that label what we need is as an material icon so let's say material material icon and then what we need is as add let's say add a photo okay let's try to look up whether it works okay yeah it works fine so now what we really need as a class name of result to display our images okay we'll just leave for a while uh, again what we need to do is we really to right now the time is to implement the logic so that's why we need as use state as we are using hooks and what we need is as in let's say const of selected images comma set selected images as an u state okay and then what we need to do is as an define as an const of image handle change or uh, we define it as take as parameter of event and then let's make it just syntactically more appealing and then what we need to do is as we need to invoke this image handle when the input is pressed oh yeah and one thing that i forgot is uh you need to kind of mention this tag of multiple otherwise it won't really select the multiple files as well to give an practical demo itself i really just want to show you something that if I go up right here and try to select multiple images, you know, 
I just can't select exactly. I'm trying to hold shift and then select everything, but still I'm not really able to do anything. So what I'll really do is right now, I'll just go over right here and type multiple. And then I'll just select this. Okay. And if I see, as you can see, by I can select everything by clicking shift and really deselecting some other element that I don't want. But right now the time is to mention an on change so that any won't event happen. We can invoke this function of image handle change. Okay. So now what we need to do is let's try to console log console log files to see whether it's working or not. E dot target dot files. Okay. Um, then what we need is as let's open this inspector. Let's take the console. And then what we need to do is let's say images multiple. Okay. So as you can see, it is selecting multiple images. Now what we need is as that means it's working. Let's comment this out first. So now what we really need is define a condition of if e dot target dot files const file array equals and taking an array from here that e dot target dot files and what we need to do is just map this with taking as an parameter of file and then really slapping this with url dot create project url taking again and taking this in file so what it will essentially do is the URL dot create object takes the file and converts it into the blob URL or a binary object. To give a demo itself, let's try to console this log. Console log, you know what file? Sorry, okay. And if I go up right here, select multiples, try to open this. As you can see, it's giving me a bunch of data that is coming up right and see we see this blob this is exactly what it does so again what we really need is back up right here we need a set selected set selected images so now the concept of state really comes into play what we need is as prev images okay prev images dot concat you know a file array so what it essentially it will do is it will take all the file it will try to map it and then concat all that data into that our uh, state as well so now what we really need is we need to kind of take an array from it's like e dot target dot files dot map in bracket let's take this parameter of file and then again what we need to do is as a revoke you know in case if if you really need to really kind of refresh this or to really just kind of take this as url dot revoke url in bracket file so what i was saying that in case if you really need to kind of refresh this or create object url you need this property of revoke object url as well so last but not least what we need to do is encapsulate and map that all the binary data or the blob url that we have stored in the state to really just kind of render it into the image as well so what we need to do is we need to define it as render uh, photos as taking as parameter of source and then what we do is as usual take an arrow function and then what we need to do is need to return return the source map it together and then we will take this as parameter of photos 
say take it as photo and then what we need to do is and then what we need to do is return an HTML attribute of image G okay and then what we do is source of photo as photo and then key as an photo okay so now let's try and test out whether it works okay oh sorry one thing that i forgot that we need to kind of really use this and here what we need to do is put this out as a javascript object render photos sorry uh, render photos in bracket selected images okay so now let's come over here let's try to select this select this first now as you can see it's got render over here let's try to select multiple files okay okay it is rendering well let me just close this first now let's try to select everything right from here okay and then this one. so as you can see it is working pretty well so that essentially wraps up about our react multiple images preview so if you have any comments queries suggestion or some sort of an ideas uh, let me know in the comment box below and i'll be happy to get back to you till then if you haven't really subscribed consider subscribing to this channel till then stay connected and i see you next time